Hey, how are you? that the absence of an apology has been an impediment to healing and reconciliation. Therefore, on behalf of the Government of Canada and all Canadians, I stand before you in this chamber so vital, so central to our existence as a country, to apologize to Aboriginal peoples for the role the Government of Canada played in, Indian, in the Indian residential schools system. <laughs> I mean, listening throughout the afternoon and uh, really trying to listen really hard and not let my emotions kind of get away with me because I, I felt like there was times I was there and I wasn't there and it was really hard for me to focus and not, not go to a place that I didn't want to go with my own emotions. And I think just th thinking back to home, Thinking back to my expectation of, of the ASIP members and, uh, and the work that we still need to do. What I believed was uh, sincerity and honesty on, on the part of uh, Prime Minister Harper to uh, deliver such a, uh, a, a passionate apology. I can remember at, at one point uh, uh, at ACIP meetings where we, we uh, discussed in one of his uh, correspondences that he was going to uh, offer a uh, oh, statement of regret and we at ACIP said that's not acceptable uh, nothing less than a, an apology would be acceptable and and I think at the, at the moment when we were saying, uh, expressing those uh, comments and concerns at ACIP, I think there was a part of me that said, this is going to be like pulling teeth from, from a hen. <laughs> uh, but it has indeed happened. Uh, and I can honestly say that, uh, you know, when, when, we, when we look at situations from the perspective of uh, uh, human wisdom, human eyes, um, there, there will be impossibilities, but uh, I'm, I have always been uh, certain with, with the spirituality of Native folks, uh, you know, Native Anglicans, uh, traditionalists, uh, I, I am certain today that, that God has indeed heard uh, the cries, the concerns of uh, Native folks and has indeed answered them using as an instrument, you know, the prime minister of, of, uh, of this country. So sitting in the gallery, it was uh, many, many emotions, uh, good emotions, uh, and then seeing the, uh, the, the pro procession with uh, uh, the Grand Chief Fontaine leading that pro procession, it was, uh, you know, thinking to myself, I never thought that this would be possible, but it is indeed happening today. We heard words of life today, as and 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 uh, in, a, in a biblical sense, uh, there are always when there's words of life in front of us, uh, words of blessing. Uh, uh, if we follow those words, uh, great things will happen. So, um, I think this is a, a great day. Of course, uh, uh, the, the reality of them will have to be lived and accepted and received and uh, uh, practice. Uh, any apology, of course, is an unfolding reality, and uh, I have much, I, I, I have greater hope than I did yesterday uh, that that this is a new day for Canada and for the churches and for all of us, um, and and a, and, a, and greater hope that we'll live this through. It's been a sacred day in the life of this nation, as words of apology were offered uh, on behalf of the government of Canada by the Prime Minister. And interestingly enough, I thought uh, several other words of apology from the other political leaders. They were they were as much apologies as they were responses to the prime minister's apology. But I thought that was a wonderful thing because with solidarity, all the political leaders uh, spoke today.
Um, the one thing that I was particularly grateful for uh, in the opportunity that the other leaders had to, to speak as well was that they really moved uh, the language of apology uh, from words into action. Uh, several of them spoke about the need for the government uh, and all Canadians to really address long-standing issues around uh, land rights, uh, poverty, addiction, abuse, incarceration, all those things which are a great concern in the Aboriginal communities. Uh, a real call, I thought, from, from the leaders to, uh, to help address those issues.